Through the world's largest continuous program of shopper interviews, the Shopper Intelligence System helps you develop more effective business plans by providing quantitative insights in three important areas of category management and shopper marketing. The first section, called Category DNA, builds a clear understanding of the fundamental character of this category for the shopper and its place in the store mix. This helps prioritize strategies to optimize return on investment in, for example, assortment and space. The second section is Shopper Satisfaction, where we measure if a category gives shoppers what they want, identifying improvement opportunities. The third section, Path to Purchase, provides an assessment of shopper decisions so that you can achieve more efficient shopper marketing. Let's look at each of these in more detail. In Category DNA, we measure how the category impacts the shopping basket and the store. Is it more about traffic or spend creating behaviors? What level of engagement does it have? Is it bought in a grab and go mindset or do shoppers want to browse? Finally, in DNA, we understand if shoppers are inflexible in their product choice or if they are willing to switch their choice in a category rather than walk away. This tells us about their loyalty to a specific product. These insights support the right decisions about key matters such as investment in promotion outside the store versus in the store, the role of leading brands, how to balance assortment between premium and standard, and where to invest in innovation. Considering various measures of category management effectiveness, shoppers tell us what's important to them in the shopper satisfaction section. They then rate the category's performance for each measure of their most recent shopping experience at a specific store. Combining these category metrics tells us how well we are doing on what matters most. Our metrics include price and promotions, choice, availability, innovation, and so on. Finally, we ask the shopper to select their preferred improvements, allowing us to diagnose more subtle priorities for change. Now let's dig into Section 3, Path to Purchase. Here we ask the shopper to recount how their purchase came about and what influenced them. This will benefit shopper marketing investments to maximize impact. First, was it planned or unplanned? Within this, we look at what specific promotion and other triggers are the biggest influences on the category's shoppers. Next, we drill into the planned purchases to understand what level of brand and product planning took place. We then ask if they bought that brand or changed their mind in the store, and if so, why? This informs us about conversion and sources of gain or loss for any purchase. The final component is to measure promotional impact. We ask the shopper if there was a promotion in place. Comparing this data to category sales on deals, we can assess if activity is actually being noticed. We then ask the shoppers who bought on promotion what influence it had. Did it drive an additional purchase, such as an impulse buy or multiple purchase, or otherwise? These measures tell us if promotions are truly growing the category. As a final point, don't forget that you can look into any of these measures for differences by shopper type. For example, by major brand or product segment bought, demographics, shopper mission, trip spend, and so on. We also track change for each category and retailer from year to year. Let's summarize. The Shopper Intelligence System gives objective measures from shopper interviews of the fundamental characters of the category, how well it's meeting shoppers' needs, and how they make their decisions in the path to purchase including promotional impact. This is made insightful because we can benchmark a category to others in the same aisle or others competing for the same need as well as to the norms for the department or the total store. You see where your category ranks compared to all the others. We can also compare across channels and banners to see how to best fine-tune your plans to suit different retail environments.